The Impossible Climb, Alex Honnold El Capitan, and The Climbing Life by Mark Sinnott is a gripping narrative that explores the world of elite rock climbing through the lens of one of its most daring icons, Alex Honnold. Sinnott, a seasoned climber and writer, weaves a compelling tale of adventure, ambition, and the sheer audacity required to undertake the unfathomable feat of free soloing El Capitan, the legendary 3,000-foot cliff in Yosemite National Park. The book takes the reader through the history of climbing in Yosemite, paying homage to the pioneers who laid the groundwork for what was to become one of the foremost proving grounds for climbers globally. Sinat describes the evolution of the sport, detailing the progression from aid climbing, where gear is used to support the climber's weight, to free climbing, where climbers depend solely on their strength and skill while using gear only for safety in case of a fall. Central to the narrative is Alex Honnold, an unassuming yet extraordinary climber known for his minimalist lifestyle and his incredible achievements in the vertical world. Sinat paints a portrait of a man who is driven not by fame or fortune, but by a profound connection to the act of climbing and the pursuit of perfection in his craft. Honnold's humility, intelligence, and idiosyncratic approach to life and climbing are brought to light giving the reader insight into the mindset required to attempt such death-defying climbs without any ropes or safety gear. The heart of the book is Honnold's preparation for and execution of the free solo of El Capitan on June 3, 2017, an accomplishment often cited as one of the greatest feats in the history of adventure sports. Sinat delves into the meticulous planning and intense physical and mental training Honnold undertook to ensure he was ready for the climb, which he referred to as free soloing the nose. The account of the actual climb is rendered with suspenseful pacing, as Sinat describes Honnold's fluid movement up the expanse of granite, capturing the perilous nature of the endeavor. The reader can almost feel the exposure and the vertiginous drops that Honnold calmly navigates all while maintaining a state of deep focus and composure that appears almost superhuman. Sinat highlights the wider climbing community's reaction to Honnold's feet, from awe to concern for the potential risks and the implications of such a high-profile success in free soloing. The book contemplates the ethical considerations of climbing, adventure sports, and the pursuit of extremes, touching upon the delicate balance between pushing the boundaries of human achievement and the value of risk-taking versus safety. Beyond Honnold's historic ascent, Sinat interlaces stories of his own experiences and those of other climbers, providing a broader view of the climbing life with its camaraderie, tragedies, and triumphs. The personal narratives enrich the reader's understanding of the climbers have unwavering passion for the sport and their deep respect for the natural environments in which they perform. Sinat doesn't shy away from discussing the darker aspects of climbing culture, including accidents, fatalities, and the looming threat of commercialization and overcrowding of once pristine climbing locales. He approaches these topics with sensitivity and a sense of responsibility, illuminating the need for sustainable practices and conscientious stewardship of the places climbers hold dear. Throughout the book, the author explores complex human emotions fear, ambition, love, and loss that are inherent to the climbing lifestyle. He reflects on the motivations that drive individuals to push the envelope and the personal costs and rewards that come with pursuing such a path. The story is as much about human connection and friendship as it is about groundbreaking achievements. As the narrative progresses, the reader gains insights into the diverse facets of the climbing community, from the intense physicality and mental toughness required to the evolving ethics of the sport. Sinat touches upon the advancements in climbing gear and techniques that have enabled climbers to reach ever greater heights, as well as the influence of media and sponsorships that have transformed climbing from a niche pursuit into a global spectacle. In chronicling Honnold's remarkable journey to the top of El Capitan without a rope, the impossible climb is a testament to the human spirit's capacity to transcend limitations. Sinat's skillful storytelling captures the essence of the climbing experience, its dangers, its exhilaration, and the moments of profound beauty that can be found in the vertical realm. Beyond the nail-biting thrill of the ascent, Sinat addresses the repercussions of Honnold's feet for the climber himself 
and the wider audience that his success attracted. With mainstream attention came a surge in interest in rock climbing, sparking debates around the ethics of popularizing such a hazardous activity. Throughout the book, Sinat maintains a keen awareness of the fragility of life and the ethical questions that extreme adventurers must confront. He invokes readers to ponder the consequences of pursuing one's passions at the edge of the possible, where a single misstep can mean the difference between life and death. The inherent philosophical quandary of risk versus reward is a recurring theme that adds depth to the adventure narrative. While the book revels in the celebrations of human potential and the grandeur of Yosemite's rock formations, it is underscored by a sense of reverence for the enduring power of nature and the humbling experiences of those who dare to meet it on its own terms. The impossible climb ultimately serves as a profound reflection on the magnetism of mountains and the extraordinary lengths to which climbers go in their quest to conquer them. Sinat's account is a tribute to Alex Honnold's unprecedented achievement and a broader meditation on the tantalizing allure of the impossible challenge. Through tales of harrowing ascents, personal insights, and the unique fellowship found among climbers, the book invites readers to glimpse the sheer force of will required to scale not just rock walls, but the lofty peaks of human potential. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.